Afternoon everyone. Back here at the cornfield, northern end by the Miller Farmstead. We're in a position where the 11th Pennsylvania would have been when Anderson's brigade moved out of the north woods up behind us here and headed towards the cornfield. So this is the northern edge. That hillside in front of us is where the first Texas would have come up through. Now the first Texas got separated from the rest of John Bell Hood's division. They went straight ahead as two of the other brigades, Wolford and Law, peeled off east and west respectively. So what happens is the 225 men of the 1st Texas were pretty much on their own. And running in here to this Anderson's Brigade of Meade's Division Federals was the 11th Pennsylvania Reserves. Leading as lieutenant colonel of that regiment at the time was a man by the name of Samuel McCartney Jackson. He had joined up the militia as a young boy at 14 as a drummer boy, near and dear to me as one myself. But the fact of it was they were very successful and the first Texas was cut to pieces, almost 84% casualties, some of the highest of Antietam and of the Civil War. Interesting side bit of all that carnage and death and destruction is that uh, Samuel McCartney Jackson, daughter Ruth, married Alex Stewart, which had a son named Jimmy Stewart. Jackson being from Apollo, Pennsylvania, went a little further east on Pennsylvania to Indiana Borough, and Alex Stewart owned a, owned a hardware store where Jimmy Stewart, as a young boy, grew up. So it's a small country and a small world at times. And amongst all the death and destruction, a little side tidbit of all the goings on here at Sharpsburg. So when you can, get out here and get this place under your feet and enjoy your day. Thanks.